Look out, Mount Midoriyama. Tom O'Halloran is on the island. Our next ninja is a gun among the blue mountain climbers and he finished second on course in the grand final last year. With daughter Audrey on the sideline to spur him on, welcome back, Tom O'Halloran. We're expecting big things from Tom O'Halloran. Finished second on course in the grand final last year and here he is on the semi-finals. And I'm back in this side to get to the top of the chimney. Looking focused on the start, his partner Amanda on the side with little daughter Audrey. They'll be cheering him on. And now Tom O'Halloran on the quadruple steps. Now Tom O'Halloran, I can't imagine he'll have any problems with this. The log grip, nice and easily coming down. But then that all changes as we get to the broken pipes. We know this is the obstacle all the ninjas are talking about. Oh, Tom O'Halloran, a little bit of a stumble, but that's all good. Safely through, just. That was close, Tom. It was ugly, but it worked. He knew it too. He gives his brow a wipe, knowing that that was a pretty close call. So, a rock climbing background. The spin ball wizard. The first set of handlebars, and now he eyeballs the second set. It's a big thing to have to grip mid-air, and you've got to hold on to your whole body weight while you do it, and you've got to hit that second handlebar precisely. He does. Tom O'Halloran, sure plays a mean spin ball. Get off it, Tom. Okay. Now, if, I reckon if he was excited about any obstacle on this course, a rock climber might think that the I-beam cross would be right up his alley. Now, for the first time in his Ninja Warrior career, first with the I-beam. It's all about climbing, grip this. strength, look balance. Oh, here. look how quick he is going. This is unbelievable to watch. We've seen no competitor do that so easily and in such a quick fashion. I can't <laughs> Look get at that. over. 10 out of pace. 10. That's He's insane. So right. That was made for him, Tom O'Halloran. And the warped wall won't be an issue. There you go. He's been there before, done that before. Oh, the crowd. And now he's three obstacles away from being the first to secure his position in the grand final. And doesn't the crowd know when they are looking at a champ, they can feel it, they're up out of their seats, knowing that this guy could go all the way up the chimney in just a few minutes' time. Tom, they chant from their seats. Tom. This is the salmon ladder to floating monkey. It's a real mixed bag. He shakes out the hands. He's given himself a good little spell there to make sure that he's ready to go. Gets the bar. He's got to go up three rungs. You That's one. You remember the salmon ladder from the final last That's year? That's three. And it causes him no trouble tonight. The floating monkey. He's got Look to take that. one of these bars with him. Imagine being able to just hang there like that. That's, That's the rock climbing experience, being able to hang there and shake out any of those cramps. Now he takes the first bar with him. Hits the exact spot where it needs to go. And now can he do the same? If you miss it the first time, you expel a lot of energy unnecessarily. He's got the spot. He's sweet. He's safe. They are so controlled overhead, aren't they? It is really a joy to watch. There you go. Now, this is a brand new obstacle. This is the hourglass to tramp to pole clinger. It starts with this hourglass shaped board a bit like an ironing board and then he's got a trampoline then he's got a rope and then he's got a pipe just playing it through in his mind just checking out that trampoline he'll know that a few have fallen off there already onto the hourglass making that look nice and easy but this is the one it's all about the tramp x marks the spot i'm getting a bird's eye view here Bounces, no, Tom! 